Give it up, Leo. You can run, but you can't hide! <laughs> ha! Bullseye. And that's pretty impressive considering how small the target is. Oh. <laughs> Wait, time out. My launcher's stuck. It's making snowballs, but it's not launching them. Uh, I'm sorry. All I'm hearing is sitting duck. this launcher i have bionics no fair you can't use your bionic arm bionic arm <laughs> uh, rose i'm i'm not supposed to pick you up from the airport until two hours ago <laughs> did i just see what i just saw <laughs> If you need me, I'll be in the laundry chute. <laughs> bionic arm! Bionic arm! Leo, I want you to tell me what's going on and don't you lie to me. Uh, That's a lie. Well... That's another lie. <laughs> I'm just a child. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> what are you doing? She already hates you. I can still get out of this alive. <laughs> What have you done to my sweet grandbaby, you evil little elf? Little? You know, Leo, I knew it was a bad idea for you to live in this crazy techno-science house with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. You better hide. Grandma. Don't you grandma me. He has turned you into some kind of robot Frankenstein. Look at you. Half human, half phonograph. Phonograph? Open your mouth and let Grandma see what kind of machinery he put all up in there. <laughs> Rose, I didn't give him bionics. It was my brother. Still your flesh and blood. You know what? Let me get my hair dry. I'm gonna put some machinery in you. <laughs> hey, Leo, please, back me up here. If you resist, it'll hurt more. It's better to just agree. <laughs> Is it also better to just throw me under the bus? Bus? She is a bullet train. Forget the hair dryer. I found my flat iron. I don't know what it can do, but we're about to find out.